Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wotton Bassett in the UK. In today's video, we're going through the last of this giant collection that we've bought. We found a whole bunch of rare and valuable coins so far, and who knows what's going to be contained in these last two boxes. As I've said in the previous videos, these coins will filter onto our website and eBay shop, so do go and check those out. If you do spot something you quite like the look of that you can't find on either our eBay shop or website, then do feel free to get in touch with us directly. So we've got a handful of what I assume are proof coin sets to start with. So the first one, ooh, what a year to find, 1989. So this has got uh, two very nice single metal two pound coins you can see at the top. The bill of rights, more excitedly the claim of rights, which is a fairly scarce coin to get your hands on. Um, seeing these coins in proof quality is really nice, the sharpness of the designs too. And the next one, we're getting a bit more recent. This is 2004. You can see a couple of commemoratives there, the Roger Bannister 50p, the steam locomotive or Trevithic two pound coin. We've got one of the bridges round pounds as well. Here we go. This is 1986. It's got the first two pound coin in it there. This is to commemorate the Commonwealth Games in Edinburgh. Oh, very nice. 2005 proof set. So we've got Dictionary, the 50p, which is a common coin you'll find in your change, as well as the Guy Fawkes £2 coin. And then we've got a couple of £5 coins, the Battle of Trafalgar and Lord Nelson as well. Overall, nice set there. The second box seems to be full of potentially silver proof coins, so we're going to have a handful of those next. First one, we have got one of the city's round pound coins in silver proof. This one is London. There's obviously all the different capitals of the different, different parts of the UK had their own design. Very nice. Another little box here, probably another pound coin I would guess. Certainly is, and it's Cardiff. Again, one of the other coins in the round pound city set. This one's a little bit more obvious, the Lunar Year of the Sheet. The Lunar Year series has been going on for a number of years. And there it is. Very nice. This is the one ounce silver proof version of the coin. Got some more proof sets now. So our first one, 1997, very nice. So we've got the three lines of England and I believe this is a golden wedding anniversary five pound crown. If we turn over, there's a lovely portrait of the Queen and Prince Philip on there. So the next one we've got 1990, we've got the crowned leek as the round pound. There was a whole series of these, each of the four national flowers of the UK in crowned versions. 1987, there we go, the crowned oak tree. This has got a black case, so it's a bit more modern. What year is it going to be though? Ooh, very close. So this is 2010. 2009 is the year set we want to see. We've seen a couple of those uh, throughout this collection, so more of those would be lovely, because obviously that would include the Kew Gardens 50p. But we have got the restoration of the Monarchy £5 coin, Belfast and London City round pounds, Florence Nightingale on the £2 coin, Girl Guiding on the 50 pence, along with all the definitive designs to the left of them. We've got 1999 in this set. So we've got the Rugby World Cup uh, two pound coin. We've got the Lion Rampant for Scotland and the Princess Diana Memorial five pound coin. Next handful of coins, probably another round pound. It is, this one is Belfast. So we just need Edinburgh and then we found all four of those. Edinburgh was the rarest round pound that was in circulation. So it'd be a nice one to see in silver proof. We've just seen this coin in a proof set. This is the Diana Memorial coin. This one should be a silver proof one when we open this up. There we go. Very nice. There was also this brilliant uncirculated five pound coin. It was a series of coins in the build up to the London Olympic Games. So you can see the number two on the design. Uh, so this was two years prior. More proof coins next. Oh, very nice, 1996. So we have got the European Championship uh, single metal two pound coin. It's a really clever, beautiful design on that one there. Uh, this is the Queen's birthday, 1926 to 1996. So her 70th birthday, if my maths is right. Um, and we've got the Celtic talk of the round pound. Oh, 1998, this one is backwards. 
see if I can show you the coins in it. There we go. So we've got the 25th anniversary of the UK's entrance into the EEC on the 50 pence coin. The Royal Arms round pound and the five pound coin is Prince Charles's 50th birthday, I believe. Although now he's not Prince Charles, he's King Charles. Oh, 1992, very good vintage. We've got this coin here, it's very exciting to see. Uh, it's the European Presidency 50 pence. It's got a mintage lower than that of the Kew Gardens for the one that went into circulation. Although it doesn't hold as much value because of the media hype and it's no longer a circulating coin, but it's fascinating to see that's an improved quality. It's absolutely stunning. We've also got the crowned oak trees, the round pound too. This one is 1991, We've got the crowned flax, I believe that is. Oh, a second one, wow. Another one from 1992. Got two uh, European presidencies and a claim of rights already. We've still got over half of the boxes to go. I've got another trio of silver proofs here. So this will be a Britannia two pound coin. Became the definitive design in 2015. Very nice. So this is just the silver proof version of it from 2015. Next up. Oh, very nice. This is the WWF Silverproof 50 pens. It's such an intricate and lovely design. To see it in its crisp Silverproof version is absolutely stunning. And then we've got the Girl Guiding Silverproof 50p. Another lovely one. You'll find this quite frequently in your change. Obviously not the silver version, the Cooper Nickel one. On with some more proof sets. Oh, this is 2006. It's a busy set, isn't it, compared to some of the earlier ones that we've looked at. We've got Victoria Cross, the medals, and the heroic acts. Uh, another dual set is the Brunel's portrait and Brunel's achievements, the arches at Paddington Station. We've got the coronation anniversary as well, and the um, Egyptian arch bridge is one of the four bridges around pound coins. Very nice, another one that's absolutely chock-a-block with lovely, lovely coins. We've got the Mary Rose two pound coin along with the King James Bible, both scarce coins even to find in your circulation. We've got the Prince Philip five pound coins to celebrate his 90th birthday. WWF 50 pence, which we've just seen in silver proof. This is just a base metal proof. And then we've got a couple of the round pound, the city ones, Cardiff, and then the one that everyone wants, Edinburgh as well. What a busy year 2011 was for coins. Oh, 2007 this time. So again, some more lovely designs there. We have got the Scouts, 50 pence. Abolition of the Slave Trade, two pound coin. Active Union, two pound coin, and the Millennium Bridge. And then the middle one is a wedding anniversary, diamond wedding anniversary. Very pretty design, that one. Oh, there we go, 1998 again. We've seen this set already improved, but it's still nice to see more of them. We've got 1993 here, again with the Coronation five pound crown and the Royal Arms round pound coin too. A couple more silver proofs. We're starting with Charles Darwin, which is a, a lovely design. Again, a fairly common coin that you'd find in circulation. Then we've got a case with some Olympic designings on it. So let's see what it is. Oh, it's one of the five pound coins, the countdown to the Olympic Games. So this is three years off from the Olympic Games. Lovely. A couple of boxes here. They're a little bit wider than a standard proof set. So let's see what these are. Well, at least we know what year this is going to be, 2004. Oh, I see. So it's just different packaged uh, proof sets here. So we've got steam locomotive or Trevithick, Roger Bannister, and another one of the bridges. Very cool. I see, just a second 2004 set there. Another one here. Oh, it's a 2008, we haven't seen these coins yet. So we've got the London Olympic Games Centenary, two pound coin, uh, the Queen Elizabeth I, five pound coin, and this is the Prince Charles, must be in his 60th birthday. And the next one, oh, it's another 2008 set. Still some gorgeous coins in there. Ah. Yet another 2004 proof set. A few more silver proofs. We start with another Princess Diana Memorial silver proof. There we go. Again, lovely, lovely coin. And this one's going to be the Navy Centenary silver proof coin. There we go. Itself a scarce coin to find in circulation. Seeing it in silver proof is a real bonus. Beautiful. We've got one last handful of these proof sets. We start with 1991, just the crowned flex in that one. 
1983. Another one that's a little bit backwards. It's got the uh, halfpenny in there too. Pretty cool. And the next one, 1988. We've got the crown shield of arms on the round pound coin. This one is 1986. Again, I think we have seen this one with the Commonwealth Games two pound coin. Again, crowned uh, flax. And we've got another one that's backwards, 2007. So again, we've got the diamond wedding anniversary five pound coin. And again, a whole host of lovely commemorative coins. So the last of the smaller proof sets. 1991, which again, not too many commemoratives in this one. Got another handful of silver proofs. We have got, ooh, this is the Olympic Beijing hand over two pound coin. Very nice. So again, silver proof. The silver proof two pound coins always look really stunning because the, the way the gold and the silver on the inner and outer coins pop really make the design work. It's another Olympic one. Ah, so this is the gold plated five pound silver proof coin. Lovely. There is also the, another design to mark the Paralympic Games starting as well. Lovely. Then we've got a little box. I'm not sure what's going to be in here. Silver proof one pound coin from 2002. So that is the three lions of England. Cool. So this is the last handful of the larger proof coin sets. Yet another 2004 proof annual set. I almost thought this was another 2004 proof set, but it's 2007. Very nice. Let's have a look what year this is. Let's see, it's 2010 again. Very cool. Well, this is an interesting one actually here. Penny two bob. Oh, is this the Roman personalization token? Very cool. I think we've seen that earlier in this uh, collection in a previous video, but um, yeah, not quite a five pound coin, unfortunately. Our penultimate sets from 2003. Very nice. Some coins we haven't seen today already. Uh, this is the Suffragettes 50p, the DNA double helix two pound coin, which is such a lovely and intricate design. Seeing it improve quality with all the sharpness of the design is absolutely glorious. Uh, we've got the Coronation Jubilee. It's a really cool design. If we look at the obverse, it's an interesting portrait of the Queen and sort of this stylized design then fitting with the design on the reverse of the coin. Wonderful. Ah, well, unfortunately, the last of the larger proof coin sets is just another 2003 set. And now we're down to our last two silver proof coins from this collection. We start with the Diamond Wedding Anniversary, Silver Proof Five Pound Crown. So it's got a lovely portrait of the Queen and Prince Philip to the obverse. And lastly, but by no means least, we have a 2015 Royal Birth. I can never remember which, which birth they are without looking at the coin. So this is to celebrate the birth of the second child. So this is Princess Charlotte. Very lovely design. Well, there we go. That is the final part of this collection all worked through. It's taken four weeks to get through it all. There were some absolutely fascinating and glorious coins throughout this. And like I said, there are links in the description if you want to pick up any of the coins featured already. But feel free to get into contact with us if you can't quite track down the coin that you're really after. We get plenty of collections in, so we'll be doing more hunts through other coin collections. So do stay tuned for that. And be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's free to do, and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You can also catch us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins. We're on Twitter and TikTok. We've got our shop and online store, but I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.